to lose, right? Oh my goodness. Good morning, Linda. Hi, Des. I was just laughing because I had this refresher. And then I seen this one out too. <laughs> but they're both they're both flat. Hey Cece. Uh, hey Rachel. Hey Gabrielle. Thanks, Cece. I'm making my tea. Feels like I was just here, doesn't it? I started a new membership, guys. Only if you're interested, of course. It's new, so I'm learning as I go too. But I'm pretty excited about it. What kind of tea do you drink? I drink, this is what I like, uh, why? I was going to call you Susan. Linda. Why would I even think of the Susan? This is what I like. This um, Lipton. Now, I've always I've always drank Lipton. Um, I think I, I grew up on it. Yeah, it's CC. It's gonna be. It's it's a paid membership. It's not a lot. Of, it's not a lot of money. It's monthly, and it's gonna be. So it's gonna be a lot of the same stuff, but reminders. Obviously, it's gonna be exclusive for people that want to make feeling good their only job, right? Because that's all you need to do is feel good, and everything else takes care of itself. So it's really just gonna be a lot of those types of reminders and practices, but more. It's gonna be more audible. Like it's gonna be. It's kind of like lazy manifesting, but daily. Um, also, I want to eventually, once I get a nice group started, do private lives. We're going to do private lives in there. And it's more interactive. It's going to be getting me more personal, like on a personal level. So, and who knows what's to come because it's going to be, it's brand new. So I'm really excited about it. Oh, thanks, Ashley. It's already started, Linda. It, there, the link's in my, um, just check out the link, the link tree, you'll see it. <laughs> I know, Rachel, like I'm just now really getting the hang of, it's only, it, it comes down to feeling good without expectations. It's tricky, right? It's because, because why? Because we know everything's done. We know these things belong to us. We know it's already ours because nothing's separate from us. But if you get too attached to that thing, you're making that thing more important than your happiness. So it's, it's, all, it's tricky, but it's not. Once you understand alignment and you understand feeling good takes care of everything, you're literally free. You're, you're free. But it's so, that slight little shift makes a difference, right? So I'm learning that it's just, I'm doing it because I feel good. I'm expecting nothing from it. I started planning this membership a little bit ago and I was a little bit adding to it. And then I would find like myself like some bumps in the road. And I'm like, nope, take a step back. It's not about what comes of it. It's about doing it and enjoying it as you do it. And I've learned so much from lazy manifesting and creating that audio for you guys, that program, because that was 100% inspired. I never forced that ever. It Like I would just do it while I was driving in the middle of the night when I was sitting out meditating when I was sitting outside in the sun when it would be raining outside it was it that on that program I call it a program now because it kind of is like that it's a hundred percent inspired so it's really that's what life is it's like you have to learn you have, we have to learn this because we've been programmed 
We have to learn how to just do it because it feels good. Like, I, even just now, this very moment, because it's all like right now in this moment, I'm like, okay, I have to clean. And I still have to work out, but I want to do this live first. To doing this live felt best. This is where I wanted to do. So in the mornings, it's like, should I work out first? No, I, I want to get ready. Like, I, I enjoy getting ready in the mornings. I enjoy doing my makeup and my hair. And I'm like, I want to do what I want to do first. Because those other things will fall into place when I choose what feels best in this moment. And that, that's really what I'm learning as well. It's like, like, and then I, if you get in your head too much, you know to bring yourself back to this moment. Like, okay, I have to get stuff to make dinner tonight. Well, I'm not even going to go there yet because I can get to that in a minute. Just go grab some things and make dinner, right? So it's really about just practicing feeling good in this moment and really making that your, that is going to be your only job because everything else will take care of itself. You guys know I don't like the word job, but when it comes to alignment, that's my only job. Feeling good is my only job everything else will take care of itself, right? And of course, I can help you. No, CC girl, I'm going to be on TikTok Live. Come on now. I love TikTok Lives. No, I'm not changing anything, CC. Guys, I'm not changing anything. Yeah, it's all going to be the same. I'm just adding my membership. I ain't going nowhere. Don't... Listen, nothing's changing. I'm still Facebook, face private Facebook group still going to be there. TikTok still going to be there. This is just something else. That's all. For people that want it, just like lazy manifesting, you don't need it. You only only if you feel inspired like I want this, that's when you get it. Listen. You're speaking to someone that only ever does things when they're inspired. This is me counting my equals in the morning. Two, four, six, eight. Like, I, like I, I should just know by the looks of what I need. Hi, Claudia! Uh, yeah, Linda, I don't know. It's it's all based off PayPal. So my, it's, you, you, pay through i'm linda listen this is what's so funny linda says you'll have to help me linda you gotta help me girl because i'm st i still learn this stuff as i go i had to check it out a million times to make sure i did it right i'm like i texted my son i'm like can you see if this is like can you access this can you help me i'm i think guys i think my my paypal's connected to it like literally that's how i live my life i just realized that i have money in paypal i'm like oh i have money in paypal i never even checked my paypal it's like, oh, I got to transfer that money. I had to like do it a couple days ago. I am, I am like just not, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I'm in my own world all the time. I don't check, what's the word? I can't even say the damn word. Like statistics. Like, you know, people see like, oh, what their video did or they check this out. And I could care less. I just do what I want to do. Like, okay, I'm doing a live right now. I don't check. I make a TikTok and my TikToks goes out there. I don't care who likes it. I don't care who doesn't like it. I'm not trying to see what hashtags work. What ha everything. I live a life on intuition and inspiration. Literally, literally. <laughs> I know. I I actually love my kids, uh, uh, my Isha, because they are so tech savvy. Like they know all the tricks and stuff. So like. My son taught me about it. Uh, pay, it's Patreon. He told me about it. He's like, oh, yeah, Patreon, you do this. It's like your own little thing. It'll be your own little membership type thing. And I'm like, oh, that sounds really cool. This was like a year ago. So now I'm just kind of introducing it. Aw, oh, thanks, user. I declared I'm limitless and I deserve only the best and did not give it energy. Oh, Rachel, yes, that's exactly what it's all about. Because you remember, like, those beliefs... So those belief systems come through your stories that you created based off your belief systems, right? So they, they have to come through something. So as soon as you detach yourself from the story, it's it, it takes practice, but you don't give that story any power. The story you have, belief systems are only trying to protect you. They're not, beliefs, limiting beliefs, anything that doesn't feel good is only there to keep you in a pattern that it only knows that pattern. It only knows that pattern. It's only doing its job. So you have to detach yourself from that story right away. It can, it has to come through that story, right? It has to come through. It, it, they have to come through something. 
Um, that's why I would say you can't just, you don't get mad at that person. Don't get mad at that situation because it has to come through something to, so you can, so you can resolve it. So you can stay calm to resolve it. Bring yourself back to self to move towards best and better. So that's where my practices come into play. It's all about getting yourself back to self, getting whole again, understanding that when you're not feeling good, you're, you're disconnected in that moment from truth. All right, let me get these sugars ready, and then I'm going to sit down. It's a whole process for me, you know, to get my, my heat. Hi, I'm going to turn the heat down, too. Kids are probably sweating the butt off. I'm always so cold in the morning and then I turn the heat up like kind of high and then like I'm sweating and I got this sweater on and I'm like, oh my God, it's so, it's so hot in here. Like, can't breathe. When it turned up as best. I know, Rachel, it's the best feeling. Hey, Faith. Oh, Linda, you're so sweet. My little dog gets cold. She shivers, but my we have to, total opposites. My big dog's so furry. She's got so much fur, but my little dog, she shivers. So like we we put well, like we'll put a blanket on her all the time because she's like cold, you know. But she's always cuddled up against the big dog, so it works. Actually, works out really well. Hi, Mike. <laughs> What would you advise? I got to get this this tea bag out because guess what? It's going to be like too strong. What would you advise to do if you want to close more sales and get more? So, so see, that's the thing, Jessica. That's what I got away from. That's what you need to get away from. You need to get away from doing it to get something. And that's what I talk about with my practices. You want to do things because you enjoy it. It's fun. It's flowy. And that the money, the sales, the people all come from that. So you got to reverse it. See, that's that's what we've been taught, to do things to get money, to get peop, more people to buy our stuff. And it becomes very forceful and very inauthentic, right? So it's more so about reversing it and making it about flow and energy flow. And what do I feel like doing it? So this is, I mean, this is what I feel like doing. So you got to make it a practice to feel good. You got to practice alignment more, more of the time and just feeling good in general. And just making that your only job and those things will be the byproduct, more clients, more people, because you start enjoying your life. You start enjoying what you're doing, right? So it's really reversing what we've been taught. Like, how do I get more money? How do I get more of this? How do I get more, 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 more? And like doing things to get things. That's what I'm learning right now, like on a deeper level now. Hold on one second, guys. I'll answer your questions and stuff. I'm always like, what am I feeling? Am I feeling the, the light pink or the dark pink today? Hold on one second, guys. Does that make sense? Oh, oh I love that, Jessica, right? It's like, it sounds, it's like a simple shift, but it does take a little bit of practice, right, for us. Because we've been so programmed to do things to get things, right? Our whole entire lives. But it will literally change your life for the best. What does it mean to dream of what you're trying? I do not attach any meaning to my dreams ever. So even if it's about a, ma if it's about a manifestation, oh, okay, that's wonderful. So like I just, I... My dreams are weird and crazy. I have the craziest freaking dreams like ever. I just wake up and I laugh at them and I move on through my day. I don't attach meaning to dreams. But nothing has meaning here, JC. So you're placing the meaning. So if you wake up from a good dream, just say it was a great dream and it means I'm moving towards best and better, right? I just always have the weirdest dreams. So I just do not attach meaning to my dreams at all. I don't even try to think about them because they're the weirdest things ever. <laughs> Can you manifest an ex back no matter how many breakups? So Ivan, yes, you can manifest anything, but you have to focus on you and you have to get out of that trying to, you have to, you have to not try to be manifesting them back, first of all, 
because you're too attached and you're in a chasing energy. So it's really just about you focusing on you, feeling good on your own, and um, learning how to just feel good on your own. You, you got to be able to like learn how to f- be fulfilled on your own, right? So that's really what I talk about more so. You just have to, and, and the more you do these types of practices and you're meditating more, you're understanding how this reality works. Every possible reality exists. That's why you have the desire. So like when you meet someone, you see a future with someone, you click with them, you see, you can have that with other people too. It's not just that person. And you're choosing, oh yes, I see that. And I, you feel you feel yourself moving towards that, Right. But you got to not focus on that because in the mo- for the most part right now, you're focused on all the bad times. You're, and that's just in general. When, we're for, when we first start manifesting, we're so focused on the unwanted of things. We're so triggered by these limiting beliefs. So once you learn this on, I say on a deeper level because it is a deeper level because you're understanding that these limiting beliefs are only there to keep you in a pattern, right? That breakup pattern. We keep breaking up. We keep having these problems. We keep having these issues. And that's what a limiting belief will do. It'll keep you in a pattern to keep because it's very familiar. Once you understand that and you make it about how you feel, you'll start to get it. It'll start to click that when a when something shows up that doesn't feel good, it's a belief system that is trying to keep you safe in a pattern and you have to practice quieting that belief system down. This is where my practice comes practices come into play, non-reaction, relaxing, staying quiet, staying calm, really settling yourself down in that moment to bring yourself back to self. The desires and manifestations are not separate from you. Nothing is separate from you here, guys. So the fact that you want this manifestation means it's it, it, it's yours because nothing is separate from you. So the more you do my practices, you start to realize, oh, it was always mine to begin with. It was It was making its way to me as soon as I wanted it, as soon as I desired it. Nothing is separate from you, right? Everything you want is yours as soon as you say, I want it. You just got to want it and know that you want it. And then it's making its way to you. That is not your practice. My practices aren't doing anything to get anything. Those things are trying to get to you. You're more so practicing. Wow, I just seemed like that was so weird. You're more more so practicing um, uh, feeling good and alignment. That's being in a flow state, an allowing state, receiving state. That's what my practices help you do. It's literally, it comes down to one thing, practicing feeling good in each moment. That's your only job. You have one job to do while you're in this, having this human experience and it's to feel good in each moment. That's your only, what feels best right now. It feels best for me to do a live, have my cup of tea and hang out with you guys. I don't know what I'm going to do after this, probably clean my house, but I don't even go there. Right, you're really living in the present moment when you make alignment and feeling good your only job. Right, it's a such a simple practice, but we got to practice it. Hi, Nene. Hey, Bridget. Everything is created. Yep. If anything, we only create our experience. Yes, girl. Faith said it. I always say that. People will say, like, creation is finished, right? But, like, Faith faith added what I always try to add, too. Like, you're still, we're so unlimited. Like, there's so much that we don't know that you are you can always be expanding to, to learning more, growing more, learning new ways, better ways, because we're so unlimited, right? But, yeah, everything's done. Every creation's finished. As soon as you have that desire, it's yours. It's just... You got to, like people say, well, how's the universe going to know? Well, you're the one that knows, right? You're only convincing yourself that it's yours. Um, you just got to say, say that you actually want it. The only way you won't get it is if you say, I don't want it anymore, basically. Then it's not going to make its way to you. But otherwise, it's always trying to get to you. Your desires are always trying to get to you. It's more so about you letting it in. You're not letting it in because it's only you having this experience with your belief. So your belief is cutting it out, cutting it off, Right. And you'll, that, this is the thing. You'll be seeing all kinds of things that are making you more aware of it, but you're still, you still have limiting beliefs around it. So you're just like, no, I don't believe it. You, you're like, why does this person get to have it and not me? Because you're still focused on the unwanted, but you're getting all this evidence of it around you, but you're still like blocking it because you have limitations. So the more you realize like nothing is separate from you, it's always been yours in the best way possible. It's yours, all these things. 
The more you just practice feeling good, those things just flow into your life. But you have to make feeling good your job. Any advice on how to let go of a fear of abandonment and fear that the... Yeah, that takes practice. That takes practice, Lola. Well, the more you do these practices and you're in flow more and you practice alignment more, you... it. You're just so good at getting back into the present moment. You're good at getting back into that alignment state. You you just have this shift one day where you're just you're like you nothing ever shakes you because you got to do. You, it's basically the answer to that is you got to stick with these practices over and over again. You got to practice non reaction. You'll get to a place where you drop all those fear based belief systems and you can realign so easily. So even me, like I just made, I have a new membership, by the way, and that's what I, that was the first video that I posted about how in the morning we wake up with resistance. We feel heavy in the mornings. It's very normal, but I can just, in the mornings I meditate. That's my number one thing because that makes, I reconnect then and I feel whole again. But when you sleep, you have no resistance, zero resistance. So when you wake up, you feel heavy again. You're back in this human body again and you're feeling heavy. So you feel slight disconnected Some, sometimes, not always. Sometimes I jump up and I'm ready to start my day. But sometimes I feel that disconnect in the morning. So I meditate in the morning. I take my time in the morning. I don't really listen to anything other than maybe a nice uh, peaceful meditation as I'm getting ready for my day. And that reconnects me. And then I'm good again. Then I'm whole again. So I, I feel that slight separation in the morning. And then I bring myself back to self again by meditating, by slowing down, by taking my time. And then I'm good again. And then I'm like, all right, let's do this day. I'm excited, right? So so that's what I talked about. That was the first video that I made in the, the membership, the new membership. I manifested what I was worried about, Dan. That's okay, Michelle, because... So what? You manifest what you were worried about. You can't make a mistake in any of this. You're just, you're learning as you go. You're learning also that you can't make a mistake, Michelle. So that's so important is that you literally can't make a mistake. Just stick to these practices. You'll get better at it. Those stories won't matter at all. Like I always say, things that happened to me a year ago, they don't even exist in my experience. I laugh at them now. I'm like, I can't even believe that I even created it. I'm so well aware that I created it, right? I take full responsibility and that's another thing that frees you as well. It's like I take full responsibility uh, in each moment of what I create. You, you start to become very confident, secure, and stable, and you know exactly how to approach things like in that calm, neutral, confident, secure state, and nothing can get you out of alignment anymore. You're really, you do really become an example to others too as well. Look at my necklace. Nathan would be so upset right now. <laughs> and that's why my dominant feeling state is appreciation. Yes, Faith, me too. And that's the thing. Like, appreciation comes so naturally, right? Like, you can't teach it. I don't think you can. I could never do that. Like, I could never journal... I could never journal like I am grateful for my home. I that just never worked for me. So now I I'm more since I've really I get this now. I can now think of my future though. Now. Now. This is like very recent for me where I'm actually really starting to to like little by little just little by little. I'm not being crazy about it. It's like slowly seeing what I want for myself and I'm able to like kind of picture that in my mind or write that down and, and out like yeah this is the kind of home I want this is the, and that's where I'm headed now but I know every I know it all exists for me now so it's more about understanding how this reality works first and doing some of these practices for a while and then you start to understand of course that's all possible for me everything's possible for me and I only got to feel good those things are making their way to me but now it's just about what do I really want what do you really want right I don't want a million cars I don't want, you know, like there's there's things I really want though. I want to live the most amazing life, but it's about now I can be more specific. Now it's exciting because I know it's possible for me, but I don't, I'm someone who's like, I'm not trying to be overwhelmed by a million things either. Like I want to know what I want and I want to like also want to experience things, experience things as I go as well, right? <laughs> I don't, you know what's so funny? I just never, I don't know why I don't want a million cars. I think I just, I'm not a car person, I guess. I don't know. 
Hey, but it's okay if you want a million cars, right? That, that's what I always say. Like, you're allowed to have whatever life you want. I just like a very smooth life. I like a very simple, not su simple to the point where it's boring. I don't have fun. But, like, I don't want, like, too much going on at that I can't handle. I, I go at my own pace. I, I always have. Like, I don't jump into things if I'm not ready. Like, I just take my time. And, I, and that has always worked for me. That's the, I, I say slow and steady wins the race. I believe that because I've moved towards things so beautifully by doing it at this way. It's like I actually speed to my best life by taking my time by not cautious, not scared, not fear, guys, like but very calm in my approach, very clear minded in my approach. Right. It, it's not like it's not fear based anymore. It was probably fear based before. Right? Yeah, I just want happiness and peace and fun and more fun. <laughs> yeah, like, that's what I always say. Like, uh, yeah, it's not, I'm just being funny when I'm saying about the car thing. Uh, this necklace, I don't even feel like fixing it right now. I didn't dye my hair yet, guys. So if anyone's asking me, I didn't do it yet because it was, it's too freshly clean to do it. So if, I know someone's going to say, oh, did you dye your hair? I did it for three hours of show. I was so proud today. I listen. Yeah. So, so like Trisha, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to be there for her, more of a support system for her as she's understanding this as well. So, you, so it's really about, you know, practicing neutral, practicing calm, not being triggered by her. She, you are helping each other. Your kids and you are working together. Like, it's not like She's against you or you're against her. None of that. This is all like we're all in this together type thing, especially when it comes to your kids. So as the more you become very confident and stable and secure in your energy, you're able to be an example to her, Trisha, but you're also able to hold space for her so she can understand how to process her emotions in a way that's going to move her forward towards best and better. So like with me, it's like I don't we don't talk about why you're upset because I know that that I know more now. It's more about me just being there and holding space, and hugging, and just being what I always needed in those moments, right? And learning how to like, and then guess what? She feels better, they feel better, and it's like, okay, now we move forward out of that. And it doesn't mean that things might not come back from time to time, but it's really the, but you can't even be that for her at first if you're so reactive and you're so feeling like a victim to her mood. So you gotta learn how to get stable first before you can be that that person right do you kind of get what I'm saying there I know and we got to leave the old stuff behind right faith it's so easy to get caught up in the old stuff and it you know like I always say for my example is like every <laughs> It's just like UPS or something. Everything had to crumble for me. But it wasn't like I knew what to do at the time that it did. So I, I was already invested in this type of information listening to Abraham. But yes, things did. But again, it, it, it really taught me how this all works. And now I'm able to help others. Hey, girl. Girl, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> They probably look at these dogs like, oh my God, just another dog. Yeah, there's always someone. I, guess what? It's not me. I don't buy nothing. I, I get like one thing every now and then, like an eyeliner that'll come like once a, every three months. It's my kids, like Amazon, always something. Especially my older son, you know, because he works, he's got his own money, he's at, you know, he does all that fun stuff. Hi, Mary. No, Trisha, don't, do not start telling that type of story. J j even that, oh, you're, it's like that, I, I don't resonate with any of that stuff. Like people, you're waiting for the other shoe to drop. You're already telling that story. So no, you just, you, fo you got to focus, make it about only you, Trisha, and you just constantly relaxing your body. You constantly staying calm and kind and loving, 
right? You got to think to yourself, like, listen, this is something that you need it when you were a child, when you were going through these moments, right? Of not feeling good. Like you, she's serving you, you're serving her. So don't think about it like that. Don't start telling that story. It's going to escalate before it gets better. Uh, no, you just, you just got to keep practicing feeling good no matter what. That is your only practice. You just keep realigning. You just keep realigning over and over and over again. You would try, oh, okay, I love that. <laughs> so, so, Rox, my big dog, Roxy, I'm telling you right now, she ain't biting nobody. She's going to be wagging her tail. Now, Mel, we don't trust Mel Mel. We don't trust Mel Mel in this house. I don't, at least. Yeah. I. You know, it's so funny. It's because, like, you, it's, I was always like this. I was always like this. It's so crazy. Sometimes I'm like annoyed because I know I was always like this and now it's like I had to relearn it again. That's how I always approached things with my with my kids and people. I was always able to be neutral and not engage with anything that didn't feel good to me. And that's what you're doing. You're just not engaging with that. Because you know, you know you're 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 helping people when you do that. Right? So you gotta really just you gotta detach yourself from the story stop saying my my daughter my daughter my boss my boss like that's what that's the video i made today you got to detach yourself from the story because these belief systems have to show up they have to show up in anything that's closest to you they have to so what and and we it's so easy to become a victim it's so easy to slip into victim mindset and blame, oh, her, and that's when you keep telling that story, my boss, my daughter, my ex, you are a victim. There's no way of getting around it. You're, you're becoming a victim again. It's easy to slip into victim mindset, but this is your belief. This is something that you are choosing to focus on and work on. It has nothing to do with her. It really doesn't, and that's what we have to understand. In order for you to move towards best and better, you got to separate yourself from that story. You got to detach yourself from that story and stop saying my daughter, my, and I, I'm not, Trisha, I'm not blaming you. This is something we all do at first. We fall victim to our boss, our ex, our partner, our kids. And that's, that's victim, right? That's being a victim. So you got to take full responsibility that this is your belief, right? And I'm not saying you're doing this, Trisha. I'm just using it as an example. This is my belief. I'm going to, I'm choosing to move out of this so I can not only help myself to move towards best and better, I can be of service to others. That's how I always say it. So it's not only for my highest good, but it's for the highest good of everybody involved, right? And I'm not calling you out at all, Trisha, please. This is like you, I'm not even saying you're doing that. I'm just saying that's this is a great example of how easy it is for us to slip back in to not taking responsibility for our beliefs that don't serve us anymore, right? I'm choosing to move towards best and better. So I'm taking full responsibility right now. I, and that frees you in time, that'll free you. It's a habit to become a victim. It's, it's a, that's another pattern. That's another habit to become a victim and give your power away. So even when you're, you're yelling at the person who just cut you off in the dress at the stop sign, you are giving your power away when you get angry at them. You're actually giving your power away. So that's why I say you really do have to, if you really want to free yourself from being a victim, you have to use, apply everything in your experience, even your animals. If you get frustrated, even if the trash didn't get taken out, even if you know, you have something going on in your, I don't know, something not working in your house. Like you got to use everything in your experience to calm yourself down, to know you're moving towards best and better because it's easy to fall victim to those things, right? How would you describe feeling good? Is it being, um, how would I describe feeling good? It gets better. That's, that's how I would describe feeling good. How would I describe feeling good? At first it's neutrality. Thanks, Trisha. It's neutrality, it's neutral, it's a lot of calmness, it's a lot of settling yourself down at first. But you move into higher energies. You move into more um, fun and just freedom. I, free, free. That's how I would explain feeling good. That's the best way to explain it. Alignment, free. You feel free as anything. I can do whatever I want when I want. I, I'm, I'm happy and that's all that matters to me. So 
That's the best word to use, I think, right now with where I'm at, I guess. Thanks, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Oh, oh yeah, okay. But it's so good though, right? Because you get to you get to say, okay, wait, it I can calm myself down now. I can use this to help me. Like you just keep getting better at practicing it and you use it to your advantage. So it's like when you're doing it like this, it's it's really just about you. It becomes just about you. And you will start having those experiences. Things are gonna start to manifest. It always felt so far for me. It's been very natural, though. I haven't had anything that shocked me yet, that surprised me, that was like, oh, my God, I can't believe that. I really haven't had anything that had like happened to me like that. It's been so subtle. It's been so gradual. It's been so natural. And I think it's because I'm still in that, like, calm, moving towards things in a calm way, right, still. Ah, oh, yes, right, Linda? It's so true. It's amazing. It's amazing. All right, Mike. I know. And it's so funny, Mike, because I always used to be that way. Like, I could just lift people's spirits up. Like, and it was always like, I always made that my job to do that. Like, I did it ever since I was a kid. If, when I, I was the only girl, whenever my brothers were like, and having it like a bad moment I always wanted them to be happy like I would just be like trying to get them out of it like so I've always been that way right but at one point it, it it sometimes it can feel exhausting though until you understand this stuff I think it feels exhausting when you're trying so hard but the more I practice alignment it's easier for me I'm not forcing it so much it's more of just I'm just being me all the time right I feel like the synchronicities already give me the shocked hacker factor. Yes, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, like how like you start seeing more things that you're manifesting or things that you want make coming together. Like the story's coming together. That is kind of fun. Yes, yes, CC, yes. And I think that's something that we have to like learn. That's not alignment, right? That's not alignment. When you're when you're trying too hard to make people happy, when you're trying too hard to make people feel better, you're actually out of alignment now. So that's when you got to get back into that calming yourself down, relaxing, you know, just cuz you're actually not serving people either by doing that because you're doing it for them. You're and you're forcing. So like it's it's a practice, right? It really is a I I find it so much fun though. I love this. I love f learning that balance and learning how when I'm exerting my energy too much or when I'm not ready to do something, but I know I want to do it. Or maybe I'm not, because it's all about alignment. It's all about alignment and lining up with these things in the right way. So it's like, even when I talked about the Zooms, which I'm going to start doing as well, and the membership, which was always on my mind, I didn't really talk about it too much because it was something that was in the making. I'm like, I want to do a membership. I want to do something that's more private. I want to do private lives, right? Something that's more intimate where we can like truly be ourselves and maybe even add Zooms in it as well like add some private Zooms as well, like where we can see each other and interact and help people because we together can help people that are maybe not really, they're in the beginning of learning this and understanding this, right? So it's gonna be more, more of that kind of stuff. I will, Trisha. Right now, it's just the membership. It's, I just have the membership now and I might do Zooms in the membership as well, like start out doing some Zooms in there just to practice it, just to play around with it. And I'm going to have, like I said, also the lives as well. Today at Home Depot, I decided to be calm instead to return an item. Yeah, right, Trisha? Like little things like that make such a difference. Um, I always say be nice to others no matter what expecting nothing in return, you're going to get have the best experiences with people. I think to myself, like everybody knows who I am at all the places I go to, like all the food places. I'm like, and I'm like, they see so many people a day. I'm not here all the time. Well, Dunkin' Donuts I am. I can't deny that. But other places I'm not. And like, they just know who you are because you just give off that energy, right? That positive energy all the time. You're so friendly all the time. Have a good day. And it's like, and that's all you really start to connect with. I like, I don't go, I do self-checkout, but occasionally I'll go to the line. 
If I have too many things that I got to look up, produce, I'm like, all right, let's, there's no one in this line. She's by herself. Let me, let me go to the line. But I always look and I'm like, I feel the energy. I'm like, you know what? This is where I'm going to go. And it doesn't matter because I'm still going to be me. I'm still going to be in that positive energy no matter what. Always being kind. Never like starting to tell a story if I think someone's in a mood. Because even that's a story. I don't know if they're in a mood or not. I don't know what their personality's like, right? We're so quick to judge things. Oh, Clover, I love that. I love that. <laughs> it's it's in my link, Trisha. Guys, it's in my link if you're interested. I ha I was telling earlier, I was telling Cece and, and when I first got on here that I had to get my son because this is new. This is all new. I already put an audio in there and I put another I put a couple things in there already. So it's brand new, so I'm learning as I go too. But I know it's gonna be good. It always works out. And I was really excited about it. I felt the nudge to do it. I felt that nudge, like those voices that say, girl, just just go for it. It's gonna be good, right? And you always get those tarot readings that are saying, like, do it, do that thing you've been thinking about, you know. So I'm like, girl, just just do it, just do it. So it'll be more, it'll be more intimate, more private, and it's all gonna be all about alignment and just really being able to help people like on that. Especially we're all at a different place in this, right? Or like everybody is. You're always gonna be in a different place than someone. No one's gonna be exactly at the same place as you. <laughs> right, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> Mike said you've made it when people don't understand you. <laughs> And what's even better is when you don't give a crap. You're like, I don't care. I'm just being me now. It feels so good to be able to be you and just be you. I never thought I'd be here at this place. Huh. I'll have to check. I could probably check right here because I am at my computer. It's going to get really bright, though. Let me see here. First, let me... Turn that all. I look like a businesswoman here on my computer. <laughs> all right, let me see. Go to TikTok. Can I go on TikTok and be on like TikTok here? Can you do that? I think you can. It says, yeah, let me see. It's funny. They know exactly what you're doing. Like I, I was looking up that Justin Bieber. Oh, I'm on here. I'm on live. I can see myself. I get so fascinated by this stuff, guys, because, like, I'm still learning as I go, too. Profile. I think. It's on there. It says become a, uh, become a private member. Yeah, that's it. Um, I could put it in, I could put it, like, in other things, like the private Facebook group as well. Do I have an iMac? What's that? Are you asking me that, Cece? Girl, I don't know what this is. It's an HP. I don't know. Guys, you know I'm clueless, right? Don't even ask me what kind of phone I have or what number it is or how old it is. And so my computer says HP on it. That's what it says. I ain't joking. This is really me. I'm, I'm clueless. I just flow with it, literally. So, heart, my my idea of living in the end is that it's done. I don't think about, I just know what I want, I know it's done. So, I focus on feeling good now. That's how I live in the end. I focus on feeling good now and making the best of this very moment. That's what brings your manifestations to you in the best way possible in every area and aspect of your life so for me it's all about feeling good in alignment that's what makes you magnetic for your desires that's what helps you understand that it's not separate from you to begin with because when you start to feel good and you're in alignment you're you're whole you don't feel disconnected the only reason why you don't trust in your desire right now is because you're feeling um disconnected and not understanding that nothing's separate from you so my practices help you feel that way. Understand? It was, it was never separate from you to begin with. It was always yours.
If you if you waver, well, you got to relax your body. You got to settle yourself down to bring yourself back to self. My, pra- you're only practicing non-reaction with me. Non-reaction, feeling good, doing things that feel good in this moment. That's it. That's how you'll manifest with me. I don't do none of that stuff. Oh, Trisha, girl, I don't know because it's not going to show me on here. It's new, so we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll get there. I'm looking now to see. Because obviously it's going to show me on as the one who, like, the creator. So I'm not going to be able to... Membership, it says... Does that make sense, heart? I know that I feel good, but every now and then I find myself thinking about unwanted things. So, so you have to practice this more. You have to practice this more. You have, thank you. You have to practice this more. If you're still focused on, it's all about feeling. It's all about feeling. So when something doesn't feel good, there's a belief there that doesn't serve you. So I, that's how I teach this. It's all about feeling, feeling your way through life. So when you're not feeling good, heart, it's time to relax your body and soften your body and bring yourself back to self. That's how you're going to move out of that belief that doesn't serve you. So you have to apply this practice over and over again to really break down a lot of these fear-based belief systems. If you really want to move towards this manifestation in the best way possible, your best life, you got to really, you got to break down the, these moments when you're not feeling good, that feeling of di- feeling disconnected. Um, so I don't know who, what you do now or who you follow, but I'm assuming you probably do things to manifest because most people do. So this is just another way of doing it. To me, it's the best way to do it because you'll literally free yourself um, from all of those other techniques and stuff. Uh, but you got to resonate with it. You got to want it because it's literally going to, it's going to free you. Like you're going to always feel good. <laughs> And you only need to feel good. You're going to understand this more on a deeper level that it's all about feeling good. Feeling good will bring everything to you. Feeling good will make you magnetic for all the wanted, for all the manifestations and the best. But it's not about those things. You got to, you got to reverse it a little bit, right? You got to really understand that you got to stop making it about the thing, the manifestation. You got to make it about you in this moment and feeling good in this moment. And that is it. That's got to be your only job. Ain't anxious when I have assignments. So even being anxious, anxiety, any of that, Melinda, like same thing. Calm yourself down. Yeah, I'll, I'll post it in. Guys, this is new, so I don't even know yet. Listen, I'm like I said, I'll I'll get I'll figure it out. Try to make an easier way to access it. I'm looking at it now, but like I said, I I'm the one who it's it's I'm the creator, so it's not gonna like really Oh no, so okay, so you guys are members but not member members yet. So you'll see some of my stuff popping up. Yeah. My son, he's a member because he had to help me this morning. All right, well, so that, that's kind of cool. I'm able to see a little more on here. What do you do to calm down those thoughts? You relax your body, Melinda. So you have to start by relaxing your body, right? So first, it's all about relaxing your body, softening your body. The thoughts may be there. That's okay. That's okay. They're very dominant, right? These beliefs are dominant. Eventually, you're going to be able to detach yourself from that story, right? So how I explain it is that that belief, that fear-based belief, that limiting belief is just there to keep you in a pattern, to keep you safe because that's all it knows, right? So in that moment, you have to detach yourself from the story. That story 
can only be there because of the belief, right? So that, that belief pops up and then that story is, so don't blame the story. So it's really about getting out of that victim mindset in that moment. It's not, the story is just, it has to be brought to you. This limiting belief has to be shown to you through something, a story. So that's what's happening. So it's something that you probably over time, it accumulates over time. So in that moment, you, you're just going to soften your body, relax your body and settle yourself down. You will start to feel better. You got to keep doing it. You got to keep relaxing your body. You are going to start to feel better. It is breaking down too. So even though the story's still there sometimes, Melinda, just by you softening your body, you relaxing your body, just breathing, you are actually moving out of it. You are breaking down that limiting belief, that fear-based belief system. Again, it's really just about sticking to it. Okay, good, Trisha. I said, I'm like... You guys usually, this is so funny, even when it came to me and my, my, where all my ebooks are and audios, you guys help each other because I'm, I'm learning as I go. So it's always like, I'll say like, oh, so how do you, whenever I talk about lazy manifesting and I'll say, I sent out a new audio, I had to get like, um, Kay and Kennedy and like everyone to help me explain to people, you got to keep the original file because that's where all the updates go. So I had to learn that through you guys. So I learned through you guys as well. This makes sense. So much sense always I get when I'm making job. Yeah, so it's like as soon as you start to relax your body when something shows up that doesn't feel good, you're already moving out of it. You're already moving towards best and better. The thing about it is, guys, is that it shows up a couple times and, and then you react again. And you almost anticipate it in your mind. Your thoughts are so powerful. So you're still thinking about it like, even as you're living your life. But that's why these practices will get you out of all that stuff. You just got to stick with it. Hey, girlfriend. And when they lick everything, I just, I don't like when they do that. My dogs. So you just got to, you really got to stick with it over and over again until you get to a place where you're more in that alignment, you're feeling good most of the time, where you would never let that story affect you down the road. So that story may show up a couple times. It's really just pushing you to move you towards best and better. But at first you're like, ah, why is this happening? And you're like breaking down almost, ready to break down. Say, stop it. Um, you gotta you gotta keep doing it over and over again. And then eventually you, you separate from that story. And you know it's just a belief that's keeping you in a pattern because that's all it knows. And it doesn't have that same effect on you anymore. You're able to like just quiet it down, bring yourself back to self, feel whole again. That's all what it is. It's that feeling of, fe you'll, it's, it's that guidance. You're so supported by the universe, by, I say higher self. I, I use higher self. I like that. Um, you're so supported because as soon as you want to move towards best and better, you're being led to that. In every way possible, you're being led to it, right? And it's really just about being able to calm yourself down to like, to hear and feel that guidance, that support from your, I say higher self, but cause you're so supported. You're supported if you don't believe in this and you're supported if you do believe in this, you're so unlimited. It's all belief systems. Nothing has meaning. So I, uh, to me, as soon as I, I know, as soon as I want something, as soon as I have a desire, I am being led to it. I know that, right? But really it's just about me tapping into that inner guidance when I don't feel good to keep moving forward. It's all about forward movement and never going back, never letting those old patterns to take, to suck you in, right? Exactly. You definitely need to relax. You need to learn how to relax. Um, and no, it's not about being sorry. Never say sorry. It's, it's about just practicing. You just got to practice it. You just got to keep relaxing. I feel anxious too. I get anxious too. I get nervous too. I'm still human. If I, I always say this, if I go certain places in certain areas, I got to like settle myself down, calm myself down and say, all right, I'm good. I got this and center myself. I just always apply this practice now. I always apply it 24 seven. I live for this practice. Do you need to feel certain to manifest? Do you need to feel certain? I, I believe you get led to certainty. It depends. Some manifestations you do, you're like, that's it. I know I'm, I, I, that's mine. And you, you don't have too much resistance around it. Uh, but some th sometimes you still feel uneasy about it. You don't trust fully, but you'll get led to certainty the more you do these practices. Do you need to be certain to manifest? But 
you also need to want it, right? Like sometimes you're not fully certain. You think you are, but you're really not. And life will help you get more certain and get more, make that more concrete, right? And that's when things really start to come in. But that's all part of these practices as well. Because you don't want to settle it to, you don't want it to come in not right either. That's why I don't like affirmations and doing things to get it because you're settling. You're really just, you're not knowing what's really possible for you. When you're doing things to manifest, you're very limited in this moment. We all are. So if you can just allow it to just unfold very naturally and the best way possible, you'll bring these things in so much better. So it's like, if I'm just affirming for money to make money from my eBooks and that's it, that's all I can see for myself in that moment. I'm limiting myself. There's so many ways I can make money. So many unlimited ways. But if I'm just like, I make money off my eBooks and I affirm that every single night and then eventually make some money off of them, I'm limiting myself. I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my energy. There's so many different ways money could be coming to me. But yet I can only see just my eBooks and me making money on my eBooks because that's all I know. It's like even if you're just at a job. And you're like, I just want to make more money at my job. I want to make an extra thousand, like an extra thousand dollars or whatever. And you're just affirming that over and over. You're wasting your time. So you really want to keep yourself very open to the ways things can come to you. And you really just want to flow with the energy and learn how to flow with the energy and learn how and it's all alignment. This is all alignment. This is all practicing doing my practices, which will, like I said, you're going to be moving towards your most abundant timeline in every area and aspect of your life. Like, I mean, everything, it takes care of everything. It's not just one thing. It's a waste of time to affirm for just one thing. This, this specific person, that's a very popular one. And over, and then you're going to bring them in and you're still going to be very triggered and unhappy, right? These are still from the other day, girl. I need to redo them. I really do. But yeah, this is, I love this. So I bought this, um, I have it right here, actually. This is actually, um, it's just pop. It's New York, it was like $3. This was $3. So I just painted my nails brown, like the color that I had. I forget what color that is. I think that's OPI. And this I swear by, guys, if you don't like to, if you don't want to wait for your nails to dry, which who wants to do that, but you like don't like to go to the salon, you want to paint them yourself, get this. Get this. It dries them so quick. It's called Out of Out the Door. It's called Out the Door. I never knew what it was called. It's called Out the Door. And it's a quick dry. I get it from Sally's Beauty Supply, but you probably get it from any beauty supply, like Ulta or any of those. Sephora. I, does Sephora do nail polish and stuff? Um, and I just paint them and then I put that over and they, they are dry so quick. <laughs> Mike said I'm lost. Oh, uh, someone said, God bless your hair. I'm going to be painting it. I'm painting it. I'm going to be dying it. Oh God. I need to, I need to take a break. I'm, I'm apparently lost too, Mike, cause I'm painting my hair. Me too, Nene. I like that one too, though, Cece. I actually like that one. I, I'll buy, I like those ones, the Sally Hansons. They're good too. I don't know why this one, I just, it's big and I paint my nails all the time. So that's why I really like it. <laughs> I'm due for a new color soon. Hi, Nate. I am going to jump off here soon though, because it's, I feel like I'm like, my kids don't really like to come out here when I'm doing lives. They just don't. And I get it. I always say my old, my, my older son, he'd be up in here with no problem. But my younger ones are just like, they don't want to come out. And I feel like I'm, they're like trapped. All right. I'm going to jump off for now, guys. But I will see you all later. Maybe. Um, and we'll see how this, all this membership stuff goes. And we'll work from there with that. And do some private lives and Zoom. I already have Zoom. So I would probably do the, the, the first Zoom just to try it out and see how that works. And we could just chat and really just like I can help you guys in those moments. Just stay calm because that's all you're really doing, right? Is practicing staying calm in those moments that you would normally want to fall victim to your circumstances. All right, everyone. Have a good rest of the day. What do what to do when I feel like I hit rock bottom and feel hopeless? You got to keep relaxing account. You have to keep softening your body. You have to stick to these practices. Like I always say, 
What other choice do you have? Are you going to, you, you're right now, you're, you're, that is still falling victim in that moment, right? So you got to, you got to lighten up. You got to soften your body. You know, if you feel the need to cry, cry, get yourself to that neutral state, go within, meditate, meditate. When in doubt, meditate guys. I mean, meditation saved my life. Literally get quiet. You will be moved out of it. You will be moved to something better. I promise you stick with a meditation practice. Meditation to me, all the answers are in meditation because all the answers are within, right? All right, guys, I'm going to jump off. Everybody, oh, I love this. Let's end it with um, that. I make each moment feel good, friends. We are so powerful. All right, everybody, have a great rest of the day. If I don't see you guys later, I might be on later. I don't know. We'll see how the, how the day goes. Bye, guys. Thanks again.